What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to the next section, we're now gonna talk about the sum and difference of cubes in this section. So in this video, I'm gonna go through an overview of how it works, and then I'm gonna just do a bunch of examples in the next couple of videos. And to begin discussing the sum and difference of cubes, I actually wanna start off by reviewing the difference of squares. So if you remember, difference of squares, if we got something in this format, this is basically gonna equal A minus B a plus b like that so for example if we have like x squared minus 4 okay if you think about it this 4 we can change as 2 to the power of 2 and then notice that it's in this format here where this x is this a and then this 2 is this b here and so all we have to do now is sub in that x and 2 for these a and b so we would have x minus 2 x plus 2. And so that's what we're going to be doing in this section as well. But instead of having a difference of squares, what we're going to have is a difference of cubes. And then we're also going to have a sum of cubes. So when you're dealing with squares, if you have a squared plus b squared, you can't factor that. So if you had like x squared plus 4 here, you can't factor that. But when you're dealing with cubes, you can have a sum of cubes. So that's what makes them a little bit different. And then these respective equations are a little bit more complex. So this a cubed minus b cubed, the equation for that is a minus b. And then you got a squared plus ab plus b squared, like that. And then a cubed plus b cubed, when you factor that, it's going to be a plus b, and then you're going to have a squared uh, minus a b plus b squared, like that. So let's do a couple of examples here. So let's say that over here we had x to the power of 3 minus 8. So this here is a difference of cubes because this 8 here, the third root of 8, we can actually rewrite this as 2 to the power of 3. So in this case, notice that the a value is the x, and then the b value is the 2. So whenever you get a question like this, I recommend that you put it in this kind of format so you could clearly see what's the a value, what's the b value, and then all you have to do is just sub it in to this respective formula. These formulas here, you're just going to have to memorize. So knowing that x is a, 2 is b, subbing them in, you would have x minus 2 a squared, so you'd have x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared, which is 4. And this bracket here is never going to be able to factor further, right? So x to the power of 3 minus 8, it factors into this over here, right? So that's an example of a difference of cubes. Let's do a sum of cubes. So let's say we had uh, let's say we add 8x to the power of 3 plus 27, for example. Well, notice that this here, we can actually rewrite. If we take the third root of this, that's the same as 2x to the power of 3 in brackets. Because the 2 would go to the power of 3, which would give us 8. And then the x would go to the power of 3, which would give us x cubed. And then this 27, we can rewrite as 3 to the power of 3, like that. And so notice that in this case, let me kind of split these two up. The a value in this case is the 2x, and then the b value is the 3. And so now all we do is we plug in these for this formula, for the sum of cubes formula. So we would end up with 2x plus 3, and then a squared, so it would be 2x squared. Now remember, that 2x would be in brackets when you square that. So you got to square the 2 and square the x. So you'd end up with 4x squared over here. Uh, and then we have minus a times b, so we'd have minus 6x plus b squared. This would end up being 9. Okay, so this here factors into that. And remember this bracket here, you can never factor further. Right, so those are a couple of simple examples of dealing with the difference of cubes and the sum of cubes. And in the next couple of videos, we're going to do more complex scenarios.